Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video. Guys, we're walking outside. Chris is really, really on one oh, in this yard. <laughs> Sorry, mate, I should have pre-warned you. Guys, look at this since we last looked at it on a video. I've arrived this morning and he's already out here. So, Chris, what are you up to? And he, guys, he's made a bit of a plan on his own. Look how everything's tidied up. He's got that trailer back on now. Chris, save me saying a load of spill. What are you up to here? You want to turn... Well, you twofold, want... really. The scrap price is really good, isn't it? <laughs> so I thought, you know, you've got to draw the line somewhere what you keep. Yeah. I'll just keep everything normally. So yeah. So I'll put another... There's nearly another load on there. Perfect. Of, of stuff that's never going to get used. No. You're just keeping it for the sake of keeping it. But I want to spin this container around, really. Put it... Basically made that area a bit bigger for storing stuff. Right, okay. So, um, you know, when we're stripping, cars, we've got these stillages that we put there. You've moved everything to yeah, there and tidied it all up. We've got those those metal cages, stillages that we put. A car, a yeah, car inside. Yeah. So that one there, guys, has got Audi A1 that's, in it. That's right. Yeah, right, okay. So we want more area over there for panels, bumpers, etc., etc., etc. So the idea is to spin this container around so it's adjacent to that one. Yeah. It's easier access to the door and it'll create a bit more... Space over that side. A bit more space over there. At the weekend, you actually sent me a message saying, have we got anyone that can come in and pick up a container? Mm. You've decided you're going to try and do it yourself. Well, we... We. <laughs> are going to try. So, guys, Chris has got a forklift yeah, yeah. jack here. We're not to that stage yet. No, but that's possibly what you're yeah. going to be yeah. using... And do you want to say your plan, or do you just well, want to try it? the plan is to clear it out first. Right. Because there's a lot of stuff in there. What is in here? Well, I don't know, really. The Range Rover stuff's in yeah, here, isn't it? Right. Over the years, and just keep piling stuff in there. Yeah, we have No got... real order. So I thought, now's a good time, isn't it, to clear it out. Yeah. So it's a bit lighter to move. I think they go about two ton empty, don't they? I'm oh, Chris, I'm not sure. Twenty, 20 foot. This is quite old, isn't it? It's got quite a solid floor in it. Yeah. So yeah. it it's... might be a little bit more than that. Yeah. But it's... we've got the entire insides of that Range Rover Classic in here. We've got loads of bits and There's blocks. an RS Turbo Escort engine in there, there isn't is. there? There is. There's a block somewhere, isn't there? Yeah, it's in, in these boxes. Um, yeah, yeah I can probably... see a lot of rain. Oh, there's quite a bit of HIV stuff in there by the look of it. Yeah, so quite a bit to clear out to actually make this a little bit lighter to move because we plan on moving it with a digger and some scaffold tubes and let's not even get into that no, no. guys i am in the middle work. yeah i am in the middle of recording another video so i'm just gonna let chris crack on here emptying it out ultimately. yeah I'll set this. because you don't just want to empty this out you want to go through it don't you yeah i'm and sure there's going to be a few more bits i can chuck on there to go definitely um, just out of curiosity because they're in front of my eye what are those long bars they're there, actually not mine they're a friend of mine who's uh, he used to have a carpentry business right and um when he moved out i let him store a load of stuff here and um he's, he's a bit limited on space now so i said to him well i might use them uh, leave them here long term so they're, they're clamps oh right okay yeah, they would work for like clamping up gates or anything wide you see they're like gas gas tube and they're just uh ends you can cut the tube to any length you like and right uh, you just buy when you buy them you just buy the, the two ends and uh like a sash clamp basically what um, what i think we'll do is we'll have another cutting once you've got this out because you can't really see a great deal, can you? It no, is I mean, all... those cabinets have all got boxes of stuff in. I, I can't remember what's in there. It's a uh, Range Rover. I'll put it I in there. Think, I don't think it all is. A lot of it is Range Rover. Yeah. It'd be nice to get it all back on. So... Well, yeah, we've got things like that old cam carrier, carrier there, but we, I think we established there weren't anything wrong with it, was there? Yeah, or we no. weren't sure, so... Okay, the loads have moved, didn't they? Yeah. Nice set of transit wheel trims there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, like Chris said, guys, he does keep everything, so we're just going to have to go through it. A bit, and, a bit brutal. Yeah, and get rid of some of it. So we leave him to crack on. He 
he's made quite light work of that guys and Chris did just say to me Rob when this goes all back in there it's going to be in some sort of order but I do know the fact that the uh, underlay for the Range Rover etc has been in here so long it only weighs half as <laughs> yeah, much now yeah, does because when we carried this in here guys I mean this took two of us on the end of that ringing box wet, it was it? ringing wet but that is actually good stuff, isn't it? It's, yeah, the sound dead. Isn't yeah, it? it is really good stuff. So that can all go back in that Range Rover. Obviously, it's going to want cleaning up, but um, quite a lot like that vanity unit and things like that. You was keeping that for something, wasn't you? But it, well, I, I took it out of the house and I just thought at the time it was too good, but it's going. Now. How long do you keep something yeah, for? Yeah. Guys, if you haven't seen them in over a year, it's probably longer, isn't it? Range Rover seat. There's the Range Rover classic interior there and the... Uh, rocker box covers that we had done for it pretty much it's all there isn't it yeah. so RS Turbo in a box there probably next time anyone's going to mention that is going to be gone I'm going to try and sell that today to a, spe to a specialist there's a whole engine in them boxes we're not going to get the time to do it are we so that can go these lamps I've forgotten all that these I bought them a long long time ago. mate why have you even got them where have they, they come from they, uh, a friend of mine, yeah, he got off, I think he got off 12, yeah, what's it, 6 there. Yeah. I remember this, mate, 12, yeah. 12 of them, and, uh, man, it was like 150 quid for the 12, Did so we went, we went 75 quid each, and had 6 each. They worked and out what, cheap. What plan was to restore them and buy 6 lamp posts for down the drive. Never going to happen, is it? No. Oh... £12.50. Did these come out of a scrapyard? He bought them from a scrapyard, yeah. He did, didn't he? Yeah. They were in the Arnie Alley. Yeah, very nice. Shame. So, I haven't got big enough piers on my gates for them. No, they are quite large, but... What's that name here? Suitcase of money? Yeah, I wish it was, Rob. I wish it was. Um, that's a part of this drawing board. Right. Is that your mate who was the chippy? Yeah, what happened? I, I, I went to an auction. I can't, I can't. Oh. I'm auction. knocking it all over there behind me, look. Yeah, I went to an I'm holding that up, Chris. No, You're gonna... no I'm up. I'm... I'm... I, uh, yeah, I went to an auction to buy some power tools, uh, which I, I, I got a few, and that was in the auction, and he's an architect, so I took a bit of a flyer that he'd won it. And uh, he, he did want it, but he still hadn't picked it up, and it's about 10 years later. Oh, right, okay. Uh, and then behind here... That could do with going on, actually, Chris. That's the spare Range Rover wheel when it's pumped up. Yeah. And it, all of this in here, guys, I remember actually putting it in. It is all, you've got the back seats there for the Range Rover. These, I think, are knackered. They're all yeah. breaking up, so they won't throw in. But, yeah, that is it. Pretty much Range Rover stuff left in here. And then uh, it looks like Chris but is going to have it Once this is there. repositioned, we could do with really getting some racking, couldn't we? Yeah. And get it. some kind of order. Yeah. Because you get used to it. You did these, not last year, year before, didn't you? I don't know. These vents. Yeah, was it? No. They really have paid. I can't remember when. Well, we kept coming in here and there was water dripping that's off right, the ceiling. You right. said, I've got to do that. Yeah, yeah. So you put those vents in and it's yeah. actually lovely in here now, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's fine, isn't it? What's that steel door off of? Security door there, yeah. Mate, we'll let you carry on. Which is worth keeping, but... Definitely. But Are we going to leave these filing cabinets in here to move it? Because they don't weigh the, anything, the, do they? Them tamber units, well, it'd be nice to probably get the doors shut on them. Yeah. And um, maybe put a rack... I don't think they fall over, do you? Nah. But we could maybe put a... That middle one's got all glass in it. Mate, we're going to leave it there because I've been waffling on for a minute. Yeah. Let's get the rest of it moved.
Well, it kind of works. He cracked on with that guys, didn't he? Used the port power there. Got the forklift jack round the back of it. Lifted up that side of it and it's off the ground, mate. Yeah. Did you say we want to pull this away a little bit? But we're going to get the scaffold tubes yeah, under it. Just what are we going to pull it with? Digger. A little mini digger. Yeah. <coughs> Should so pull it. Have you left anything in there? Sorry. Bits and bobs. Right. Yeah, quite light stuff, really. That racking's still in there, is the, it? The timber you yeah. use, are, yeah. Right. There's not loads in there. We'll have a bit of lunch, mate, and then start giving it a pull around, yeah. shall we? Yeah, I think so. You've done well to get that up in the air, though. Yeah. Mind you, that port power's 10 tonne, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. So It's only lifting one end of it, wasn't yeah. it? So, but the idea is get a couple of tubes under it. Yeah. And then hopefully, normally, I mean, I'm not... not done many moves but normally once you get it it's that initial start off yeah so if if the digger won't won't get it going i'll put the porter power in there and push, push it away a bit push it from that one yeah and hopefully it doesn't push that one it pushes that one whatever happens now you've gone this far I'm committed now it's getting turned around isn't it it is going to be facing this somehow, one guys yeah Right, let's have a bit of lunch and build up our strength, I think. <laughs> Guys, it's not often I question Chris, but I really, really ain't sure about this. Well, well it's got two chances, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I just said that's a one tonne. Point Ev eight. Everyone always asks about that. Elaborate on it a bit. Where'd you get that? One of your mates touched I you, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chris, when Chris built Claire's Annex and I was refurbing that house, I actually bought that off a friend of mine. God bless his soul, not with us anymore. And then once I was finished, Chris said he'd really like to have that, so... You've had nothing but problems with it, though, have you? Oh, I had a few problems with it, The yeah. um, sprockets. Felt a bit, didn't it? Well, but no, the track, I had to put new new sprockets, new tracks, but it had hydraulic leak, didn't it, which yeah, was the hydraulic did. tank. But, but as usual, it's like new now. Yeah, yeah. And Chris yeah. reckons it's that good on the old hydraulics, it's going to pull a 20-foot container. I think it will. I mean, the, the, it's just that initial getting it going. Normally. Like you said, mate, two chances. Well, I yeah. don't know where to stand here. Well, the plan is... We need to pull it far enough forward. So it can spin. So it can spin. So it's eight foot wide. So my maths is we need four, four foot. Four foot, yeah. If we can get it to pivot right in the middle. Right. If it ends up... It's, it's a really bad glare there today, it? sorry. Go on, mate. If it ends up too far that way, well, we're going to have to slide it on tubes. We're not too worried... It'd be if easier it, on here, though, wouldn't it? And we're not too worried if it ends up here because we can get it on the tubes and then push it back with the digger. Start your engines. So the first thing is to pull it forward about four foot. And then I think what we got, I've got a, uh, something that possibly a swivel on, but I think the spin it, we're gonna be pulling it off of here. Yeah. We've got this skate here, but that's not gonna come into play until we can get that over, yeah. over here. Did you make so, that? Yeah, so the, what my theory is, that I've got to keep following you because people won't hear you. This here. end, once yeah. we get it four foot or so, yeah. that's got to be planted. Right. Because if not, it'll just try and rotate and take that fence out. Okay. So we're going to kind of uh, roll it forward and then reposition. So this end is back down on the concrete and kind of grips. Yeah. And then, it'll be dug in. Yeah. Right. Then it won't try and kick round. Let, start your engine up. I'm going to well, I'm gonna try and walk up and down and see if we can... You might need the port power to push it. Right, hopefully not. I think it'll move it easy. That's my prediction. Too easy. No way. Go on. That's moving that easy. Well, there's your one foot, two foot, Hi. two foot. We'll have to reposition. I can't believe how easy you just made that look. Yeah. That won't even like. 
Yeah. You didn't even know that Egyptian Rebbins. It's smooth stuff, mate, wasn't it? Is they it? Built the pyramids. Yeah, rollers. Is that how they done it? Yeah. Well, um, I'll, I'll be honest, guys. I was a bit optimistic there, but I shouldn't even question... Pessimistic. Pessimistic. I shouldn't even question you. I don't know oh, why I did. But the tricky bit's going to get it round, like I say, without it wiping that fence out, because it's only, like, about three foot that side. Should we have a rejig off camera We're then? We're going to have to, because... Um, that's too to, close. Yeah, we need we need to get another couple of foot. But um yeah, that's, right. that's worked quite well, isn't it? That's worked well. Let's have a rejig then and uh we carry on. Guys, don't ask me how he's doing this with that micro digger, but what he's, yeah, yeah. He's swapping around like scaffold tubes and it's working. It's unbelievable. He's got this like square bearing, uh, like a bearing in a square carrier. And he said, well, if this don't work out well, we'll stick it under the back and then we can swivel the whole thing round, sort of with it sitting on that bearing. Incredible, really, the ideas he's got. Is it not? Alright, let's have another rejig. Like Chris just said, guys, this is all trial and error, but we've got it onto the second scaffold tube now. He ideally wanted this to dig in, but he's got this bearing here on a plate, and your plan is. So stick that basically there guys. Take everything out from underneath this and then we're just gonna, I'm not trying to do hand signals, yeah. pivot it round. So we don't want it hitting that back fence and knocking it over, but that 10 ton port power is doing its job. Just using it to lift the container up and put tubes under. Let me I think we're gonna have to lift bud. under there, aren't we? Lift. We're gonna have to lift under there because we want to get this to get out. that bearing under it, yeah. yeah. Can grab that other bigger block of wood. Of course, mate. Where am I looking? Just right in front of you. Yep, yep, yep. So, yeah, guys, a bit of trial and error, but I suppose it beats, gonna... what do you reckon, 120 quid probably, get someone in with a crane yeah, to probably. move it. That's probably. what they'd charge, wouldn't yeah, they? So, yeah. saving a few quid. And why Chris was messing around doing this this morning, guys, you would have seen the waffle video on the RS2000. I was doing that, and Chris was helping me do that one as well. So, Anyway, we'll have a little bit of a rejig. I'm sure Chris will explain what he's done at the end to get it in there and we'll let you know how we get on. Chris is back to it again, guys, telling me it's got two chances. <laughs> well, it's on there, isn't it? It's on there. What are you going to do? Give it another pull now or yeah, shall do you, I? Do you want to keep Yeah, just there? keep me on it, yeah. I might stand around the back, actually, Chris, so I can watch that and the post. All right. It's turning on it, but it doesn't look like the bearing's turning, does it? Any good? I don't think the bearing was turning. Was it not? No, I don't know, though. You only went probably an yeah. inch, didn't you? Moving back there to get a bit more extra on the arm. Yeah, it's working. It's working. It's doing exactly what he wanted it to do. I think we're going to have to get. Yeah, it's working. It's working. Yeah, it's right. working perfectly. All we need to do now is reposition and get it further that way. Just drag it Cause, forward. Because this is going to clear out here as it comes round. Yeah, you're, pro yeah, you're so, right. Yeah. But we've got a bit more room in front of us now. Yeah, we have. Yeah, a so lot. We can go. Oh, Sorry, one. I'm zoomed right in, guys. We need right. another couple of foot, don't we, on the roller? Yeah. Take the roller back out, reposition that, and then that should allow it to spin. Let's do it. We will go on a time lapse, otherwise, we'll be live filming all day.
There we go, guys. We got it facing the right direction. We have left a bit of a gap here because we knew that when once it starts getting pushed back, it will level off, won't it? And Chris can always move the bucket to either side that he wants. Any well, he's actually using the yeah, blade. the blade, we'll wasn't he? But we've uh, we've got the last tube underneath it, and it's ready to go back. It's got to go back about five, six foot there. Well, probably more like seven or eight foot, but you get, you get the gist. That is it. You having a clean up underneath yeah, it, are well, you? Just to aid the uh, when it sits down, it's nice and the roll. Really moving along with it, and can't believe we've moved it. To be honest, Chris saved 120 quid, <laughs> but prob probably about 300 quid worth of wages. <laughs> it don't matter. Look, if you can do it, this is not a how-to video, is it? Oh, definitely not. No, this is just. Uh, this is how we roll. This is <laughs> uh, how we roll. <laughs> Guys, I'm sure that you're going to all find it entertaining anyway. We've got it moved and uh, it really has opened up this area now and created so much more space. So let's get it all actually put into position and then I'll show you again. Level with that one, won't it? Yeah, it will. <laughs> <laughs> right. Make me look good. Ready, you can go right on that corner. Sorry, what? Push it down. Yeah, I'll just pop a nip it from that corner. That's, that's it. While it's on the tube, sliding. Yeah, has the tube never moved? Did it not? A little bit. Can you give it a push for that? How silly do I feel, guys? I said to him, you got a foot left? He went, yeah, I can see, Rob. <laughs> it's going back the same distance as the one next to it. Never mind. Nothing. Yeah, I Guys, look at the size of this extra space Chris has now created for us. He did just say, do you know, this, this bit of yard has always had something in it. 
for probably the last 15, 16 years. So now it is all cleared out. What he has said he's going to decide to do is actually pull all this dirt out, get some type one in here, and actually have all of this concreted in. It just makes such a nice job of it. And like he said, he might not get another chance again. We've got concrete there all the way back. So it is literally just that area there. So he plans on getting that done. I've actually been out today. And while I've been gone, this is the next morning. Chris has had a proper sort out and put everything away nicely and dug out an antique saw there that he's going to be messing around with. So we've got all of the Range Rover classic stuff all in the same place now. You've got all the door panels there. That is the window set he said that we need to refurbish because it kept opening itself. We've got the rear tailgate there and the whole interior is all laid out nicely. You can see he's put it all out and hasn't stacked nothing heavy on top of it. So that's all quite nice and safe there now as well. And then of course, a load more stuff in those cabinets. The RS turbo engine that was in the orange boxes, I did mention last night, I actually sold last night to a local guy around the corner for 250 pound. He does loads of escorts and he said, yeah, he'd love to own it. Um, also the little, some of you are gonna notice, eagle-eyed, I know you remember everything. The ST engine out, the burnt Fiesta ST. Now, one of our, one of our subscribers, Jay, he used to buy a few vans off of us, actually rung up and said he's bought an ST Fiesta, it's blown up, what's the crack with that engine? I said, we compression tested it, but you see the oil and that in the videos. It's 200 quid, you can take a chance, but it's not saying I'll take a chance on. Guys, he dropped that engine off to his engine fitter, he flushed it through, rebuilt all of the ancillaries off of his engine, put it in, and it runs like a Swiss watch. So we're really made up about that as well, but... Yeah, what a cracking video for us to clear that yard out that much and actually get everything put in there nicely. We can walk in and know where everything is. Chris, we're going to ask you to do it today. Call it. That's the end of the video. <laughs> That's the end of today's video, guys. We do hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, please do it that thumbs up. Drop us a comment in the comment section down below. And we'll see you very, very soon in the next one.